In today's video, I'll be showing you a little 1950s inspired everyday vintage makeup look. All the products will be linked below and I'll be using a few vintage items that you can still find today, starting with this pan stick foundation by Max Factor. I'm wearing the shade True Beige or number 12. To start out, I'm just going to apply as a concealer with a flat brush just applying a first layer to those areas that I feel need more coverage. I filmed this tutorial while I was visiting my family in Iowa, so I definitely brought some extra luggage with me under my eyes after traveling. Typically, they would have probably used their fingers to blend in this makeup, but I like to use a sponge that's a little bit damp. Now I'm just going to use the foundation stick and apply it all over as my foundation layer. I really like the application method. It's kind of like a glue stick or a sunscreen stick and you can kind of just glaze it over and then I'm going to blot it in with that same makeup sponge. I think it's a very layerable product and it can be on the sheer side or a more medium coverage depending on how much you want to use. This was my first time using this foundation and my first impressions are quite positive. I think for a more authentic vintage makeup look, this is a great one to have on hand. Since they didn't really have heavy concealers back then, this is a great product that you can layer where you need to and wear it as a concealer and as your foundation. I'm also going to apply a bit more of the product to the areas of the face that I want to highlight. To blend them in, I'm just going to use my very dense fluffy makeup brush. That way the product doesn't get absorbed by the sponge and it's kind of just seamlessly blended into the rest of the foundation, but kind of a lighter highlighted shade. For the eyebrows, I'm going to brush them up with a clean mascara spoolie and I'm going to line them with a brown pencil. This is the brown eyeliner pencil from the Bessemer Marilyn Monroe collection, but you can use any pencil that you have. And I like to keep that very vintage 1950s eyebrow arch by just lining that center part and blending it out with a angled brush. To fill out the rest of the brows, I'm going to use some brown eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use a very light base color and I'm applying it all over the lid with a soft fluffy brush. To the crease I'm adding a very light beige contour color. I'm going to add it in layers and darken it later with another light brown. Blending it all together with that fluffy brush. I like to keep the eyes on a very natural scale since I know I'm going to be using a relatively bright lip color. This is kind of my go-to eyeshadow method for everyday makeup, just keeping it very simple and classic. For the eyeliner, I'm using that same pencil that we used on my brows and I'm making sure it has a very sharp tip and I'm going to tightly line the upper lash line. I like to follow the lash line and just add a very subtle wing to the end. To blend in that eyeliner a little bit more, I like to go over the line with a very fine angled brush. I prefer using pencil to liquid because I think it gives it a softer and more natural appearance, especially for the daytime. Next, I'm adding some mascara, focusing on the outer corner of the lashes. I like to have more volume on that outer portion of the eye. I'm adding just a hint of that brown pencil to the lower lash line and blending it out with my flat brush. I 
do like to add a little bit of definition to my nose, so I'm going to contour just to round out the tip with a little bit of that light brown eyeshadow. And for our vintage lipstick, I'm wearing Revlon's Love That Pink, which is a vintage lip shade from the 1950s. To have a more uniform look, I'm going to apply this lip color to my cheeks as a blush. I just like to apply a few dots to the cheek and blend it in with my fingers. Cream blushes were very popular back then, and I really like the consistency of a cream blush as well. And this rosy pink lip color makes for the perfect blush. I'm adding that vintage lip shade Love That Pink to the lips as well. It is the perfect bright and pigmented 1950s pink lip shade. To set the face, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm using a big fluffy brush to apply the powder all over. Loose setting powders were very popular back then, and typically a large powder puff would be used, but I don't have one of those at the moment, so I'm just going to use my fluffy brush. Setting powders like this one give a very nice, soft airbrush effect and will help your vintage makeup look even more authentic. And I'm applying the setting powder using a compact makeup sponge to the areas where I get a little bit more oily, just to help really pack in that powder and reduce shine. And that concludes my vintage everyday 1950s inspired makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this one.